Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to Championship Predictions. Sophie, there's only three weeks to go. Yeah, and three big weeks to go as well. Yeah, there's fights for the automatics, for the playoffs, and for survival down at the bottom. Seeing as there's only three weeks left, guys, let's set the biggest like target ever on a Championship Predictions video, 2,000 likes. If you enjoy the Championship, if you're gonna miss it when it's over, Make sure to show some support. Drop a like. It's free to do. Your support has been fantastic this season. I can't believe it's actually coming to an end. It's actually quite sad. I don't want it to end. Yeah. Not I, this season. It's I, so good. I agree. Uh, make sure to subscribe while you are there so you see all of our videos. It's free to subscribe. So please support us. We've been as consistent as we can be this season. So get involved. We've got the Premier League predictions coming tomorrow. And we're going to put the two FA Cup predictions in the same video. Because there's no point doing a separate video. So in terms of Coventry City. His FA Cup semi-final. We'll do that in the Premier League predictions video tomorrow. And as for today's video, we've got the Championship games for the weekend. And there's also one on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So a lot to get through. Just quickly, Sophie, these are the scores from the last set of games. Uh, neither of us scored many points. No, I'm, still, bad week. I'm still quite far ahead. Yes. Um, three weeks to go. You've got a lot of catching up to do. Uh, yeah, I think it's virtually impossible, but just not doing myself any favours week in week out at this rate. Yeah well let's see if you can get any predictions better than me this week. Let's dive straight into it Sophie with Saturday's lunchtime game between Leicester City and West Bromwich Albion. Already the first game is one with a lot riding on it. Two teams with a lot to play for. You feel like Leicester City are in more urgent need of a win. Mm -hmm. um, still in the top two somehow but something's going to happen soon. They can't all keep falling over the finish line. I mean someone's got to take this top two by the scruff of its neck yeah and it could be Southampton it could be Southampton it could be Leeds who knows Leicester City have got to go back to winning ways after losing their last two games they've gotten away with it due to the other results and do you know what I've noticed in the last few results they are starting to be a better team at home than they are away they've won their last two home games They've lost their last two away games. Let's quickly look at West Brom, Sophie. Now, for the whole season, they've been fifth. They've, they've not been higher than fifth. They've not been lower than fifth. But as we get to the finish line, there's that possibility they might go to sixth. Mm. And if Hull or Coventry were to put a good run together, they might still fall out of the playoffs. I think they'll be okay. Yeah, be but good. I've said for a while, keep an eye on them. Their mm. form is not great. It's not. And they lost 1-0 at home to Sunderland last week. It feels like they might just trip over the line. I think one more win should do it for West Brom, but I don't think it'll come here. Mm. I'm tempted to go for a draw, given that both teams are struggling for consistency, but I'm going to give it to the Foxes. I just still okay. think every time they trip up, they're going to get over it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. 2-1 Leicester. I am actually going for a draw here. I think it's two teams that... Really, they do need a win just because they're form. They need to start getting some momentum going. And there's not many games to do it now with. I don't see the team winning, so draw for me. 1-1. One, one. You're going for a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Mm. Who's that a better result for? West Brom, I guess. It probably is, to be honest, yeah. Yeah, I think, like we said, West Brom nearly there. Leicester City need a few more wins. Uh, and they're going to feature again in this video as they take on Southampton. So Leicester fans, stick around. On to the next one, Sophie. We have Cardiff City versus Southampton. Now, Southampton, Sophie, are putting the results together. They're closing in on the top two. It was another win on Tuesday night against Preston, and they're closing the gap. They take on Cardiff City, Sophie, who have been unbelievably difficult to predict. I mean, probably the hardest team to predict. That's, I, I that's what... there's, there's been a few hard teams to predict, but they are up there. Honestly, the reason they're mid-table is because they blow hot and cold, yeah. and you don't know what you're going to get with Cardiff. Last week, I did back them to lose, and they lost to mm. Millwall. Ultimately, they've not got a lot to play for, but they can still trip teams up. Uh, I think it could be close. I'm going to go with Southampton here, Sophie. They've got to win. Cardiff 1, Southampton 2. Okay, I'm going to go for a fairly straightforward Southampton win here. I think they're going to follow up that good result against Preston with another good result here. And for me, Southampton win this 2-0. 2-0 Saints. Yeah. yeah, they're certainly involved. And if they can win this one, they've got Leicester City that we're going to predict later in this video. And it could be getting interesting. Yeah, yeah. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to the John Smiths. It's Huddersfield Town versus Swansea City. 
Oh dear, Sophie. Did you see the penalty decision oh, for Huddersfield? I've only just seen it earlier and I think it's disgraceful. Yeah, I say for Huddersfield, in the Huddersfield Against game. Huddersfield, yeah. It was uh, for Bristol City. Uh, and that's taken two points off them. They were so close to winning and that could absolutely ruin things at the end of the season for Huddersfield. I do have sympathy for their fans. Yeah. But one thing you've got to do is realise that it's gone. You have to look forwards now. I know mm. it's hard. But you've still got the chance here to get out. Your next two games are at home. Swansea and then Birmingham. That's going to be massive. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't think Huddersfield are going to lose. The thing is, will they draw? Because they keep drawing, they don't do they? do keep drawing. And we used to say Darren draw, but he's not there anymore. And you do just think, oh, draws aren't enough. They're mm. not enough. You need the win. And I do feel like... Their last game, yeah, they were very, very unfortunate. But as you said, look forward now. And this is a winnable game. It is a winnable game. You need to get the win. A draw isn't enough. Yeah. Um, Swansea City, just like with Cardiff, they're in the middle of the table. They're not going up. They're not going down this year. I think overall, I'd say it's not a great season, actually. Um, they've not been atrocious but they've not been particularly consistent they've had little good spells here and there but the fact that they've changed managers through the season reflects mm. that it's been a bit of an up and down season um ultimately i like chaos so i'm going to back huddersfield town to win this yeah. I'm, t I'm tempted to go for a draw i'm so tempted to say a draw i'm tempted to go for a draw i must say but i'll chuck in a huddersfield town win just to blow things wide open going into the huddersfield birmingham game next week one nil to the terriers yeah i won't lie looking at this one i was thinking another 1-1 one, one. but I think yeah like Birmingham did at the weekend they've got a lot to fight for now who's really going to turn up to this game Huddersfield or Swansea Swansea aren't playing for anything so Huddersfield need to go at this one and get the win as I said a draw isn't enough and I agree with your scoreline I think Huddersfield will do it 1-0 yeah Ultimately, the table shows that Swansea have probably got the better quality, even if it's not by a lot. Yeah. Um, but with Huddersfield having two home games here and knowing how desperate their situation is, they've got to get the fans on board. They've got to get a result. Mm -hmm. uh, their last game is away to Ipswich, which is very tricky. So they need at least four points from the next two home games, ideally six points. On to the next one, Sophie, and we go to Carra Road. It's Norwich City versus Bristol City. Now, Norwich, I hate to say it, but congratulations. A big three yeah. points against Preston. Um, well ultimately, if they finish in the top six, they've deserved it. They've had a good a good run in the second half of the season. They have. And especially at home. I know the Preston game was away, but they've won about eight in a row at home. And it makes me think, you've got to go for them here. Now, Bristol City, Sophie, what did I say with them last week? They could go on a great run, but as soon as I back them to win, it all goes pear-shaped. Yeah. And they nearly lost to Huddersfield. As yeah, we yeah. said, they got a little bit of a fortuitous penalty there. Mm. Uh, well taken, nonetheless, and it keeps their little unbeaten run going. Do you know what? I'd love to see Bristol City come and get a result because that'd suit us, but yeah, I don't see happening. I don't have any luck backing Bristol City to win, so I'm just gonna go with Norwich to yeah. pretty much secure their playoff place. I'll go two one to the Canaries. Okay, I'm gonna add in another goal. I'm gonna say three one to the Canaries. Norwich should have looked very, very good at home. Bristol City, I find it a little bit like Cardiff, to be honest. I'm finding it yeah. hard to put my finger on them this season. But Norwich, I'm not. You can't not back them at home. Annoyingly, I think they're going to win this, so 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one Norwich, yeah. And Norwich fans, we're not particularly bitter about it. Um, ultimately, if you finish in the top six, you've deserved you deserve it. it yeah. um, I know we're trying to get in there, but I think you've probably just done it. But yeah. we'll see. If and to be honest, it's not like, a, oh, OK, they might get sixth place. I think eyes have got to be on fifth place. Yeah, if, I'm a, could do it. if I'm a Norwich fan, I'm looking up the table. Yeah. Um, on to the next one, Sophie. Off we go to the New York Stadium where relegated Rotherham take on relegation-threatened Birmingham City. Now, Soph, let's start with Birmingham. Mm. Wow. I don't the, want to talk about it. <laughs> Sophie, they were so it good hurts. against us, honestly. They were. Honestly, I've never seen them play football like that. No. I, I don't recognise that team at all. I don't think half their fans did. They turned up and put in an amazing performance. Mm. The thing is, if Birmingham City could play with that intensity and with that atmosphere behind them throughout the whole season, they'd be in the top six race. The reason I think it was like that, though, is because they know their situation is desperate. Yeah. They've not been great this season. Yes, there's been mitigating circumstances where they've changed managers a few times, but ultimately... 
they've got themselves into a position now where it's in their hands. And you look at the next two games here, Sophie, Rotherham away, Huddersfield away. If they can get four points from these two, they yeah. might just do it. They've got Norwich at home on the final day. Now, as for Rotherham United, last week they went away to Swansea. They only lost 1-0. Um, it's, it's so frustrating, as we keep saying. They're already down. I'm sure they'll try and pick up as many points as they can from these last three, but mm. um, what difference does it really make? Mm -hmm. Birmingham have a lot to play for, and if we see the Birmingham that played against Coventry, this could be this could be heavy. I'm going to go 2-0 Birmingham. I think it's going to be a mm. professional Gary Rowett job. If you're saying 2-0 Birmingham, you're going to think Rotherham are putting in a better performance than Coventry did. Well, it's not hard. I know, I actually think they will. I can see there being a few goals in this one. I actually think Rotherham might get one. But if Birmingham turn up like they did at the weekend against Coventry City, it should be a fairly easy game. I'm going to say 3-1 to Blues, but Rotherham do better than us and get a goal. Yeah. Like I say, Birmingham City fans, um, absolute respect. I thought your fans, your players, your manager were all up for it last week. And if you can keep that going into the next couple of games, you're you'll, gonna, be right. you'll be absolutely mm. fine. On to the next one. Stoke City take on Plymouth Argyle. This is massive. Is. Um, two teams hovering at it's the moment pointer. it is it's it's a massive game for the winner the winner is probably safe um the loser is far from it and we'll have mm. two games to go i think plymouth are a point better off than stoke coming into this and they're both just a few points above the bottom three um a draw wouldn't be terrible it'd be better for plymouth given that they're the away team and they're yeah. one they're one point better off than Stoke. In terms of their recent results, Stoke got a draw at Sheffield Wednesday. Um, they could have won it with the chances they had, but important not to lose it. Yeah. And with Plymouth Argyle, Sophie, they've picked up seven points, beating Rotherham, drawing with QPR, and then beating Leicester. Yeah. Um, it's the Schumacher derby, and it would be sweet for Plymouth to win this one, but I make Stoke slight favourites, being the home team. Uh, but I'm going to go down the middle. I think it could be nervy. Mm. <sighs> a draw is probably slightly better for Plymouth, but it could be. It could be quite crucial for Stoke. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, with the Plymouth game, you've seen the chances that Leicester had and they didn't take up, so it could have been a very, very different game. However, main thing is three points and they got that clean sheet. So why can't they do it again against Stoke? It is going to be scrappy, I think, and I could see it being maybe a nil-nil, very cagey game. I'm going to back the away side. A massive three points for Plymouth again. 1-0. Wow. It'd be massive that. Is this a must win or a must not lose? For which team? For both. Because it's similar for, for both really, isn't it? Yeah, but I do think a draw would suit Plymouth a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it does seem like a must not lose. And that's why I see it being really cagey. Mm. Stoke's next game is away to Southampton, so they could find themselves going into the final day. Not safe yet if they don't win this one. On to the next one then. It's Sunderland versus Millwall. And it's two teams that have put a few decent results together recently. Mm. Who'd have thought, away from home, with not a lot to play for, Sunderland would go and get a draw at Leeds and a win at West Brom? Yeah, I know. It almost seems like the pressure's off now and that they can play <coughs> all right again. Yeah, as for Millwall, they got the win against Leicester and a win against Cardiff, which I think has probably done the job. Yeah, I think so. They're safe now for me. They're on 50 points. Yeah. I, I know Millwall fans won't want to lose all three games, but even if they did, I still think they'd be okay. Yeah. Um, not a lot to separate these two, so I'm tempted to go for a draw, but... Sunderland have been very good at the back lately. They're not conceding goals, mm. so I'll go for them to edge it. 1-0. I think Mill I can see why you're going for that. Millwall are probably better at the den, but Sunderland defensively, I think they might just be able to grind out the win here. Yeah, I think Sunderland have got two good results from two good teams that have gone there to play football. Millwall, I'm not saying that they're not going to play football, but they're going to want points. So I think it could be a very different game, and that's why I'm going to back a draw. I'm actually going to say one-one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, I can see why you're back in Sunderland, but equally, I do think it might be a stalemate. Yeah, it's, it's possibly one that means the least this week. I won't say that's a definite for Millwall because yeah. they might still need another point or two, but possibly the game with the least riding on it uh -huh. out of all of these. Um, on to the next one. Vicarage Road, it's Watford versus Hull City. Now, Watford, they're, they're pretty much safe. They're on 52 points. But as for Hull City, they're now the, 
the team with the best chance currently outside the playoffs to get into the playoffs. Yeah. They've leapfrogged Coventry and Preston with their win against QPR. And if they can win this one, they might make a bit more ground upon West Brom or Norwich, who, you know, we've said West Brom have got a tricky game this mm. week. So it's not over for Hull. And they've got the game in hand against Coventry, which we're going to come on to later in the video. As for Watford, I think they've been pretty impressive under Tom Cleverley. They haven't won, but they've drawn almost every game, yeah. except for Southampton, where they lost in the last, last minute. minute yeah. I think this will be tight, but I'm going to go with the team that have got something to play for. Watford 1, Hull City 2. Yeah, I'm going to go back to drawing ways for Watford. They've been getting a few good results, to be honest. can see them, but equally scoring, so I could see there being a few goals in this one. Uh, Again, I can see why you're back in Hull because they are actually fighting for something and they are a very good team and they play some good football. But Watford do frustrate teams, so 2-2. Two, two. Ooh. Yeah, see the being goals. Cheeky little Desmond. <laughs> Share your thoughts on that one, guys. It probably wouldn't be good enough for Hull. Um, the teams that are outside the playoffs that still want to make it probably have to win every game. Mm. On to the next one, Soph. Let's go to West London. It's QPR versus Preston North End. Now, as for Preston, they failed to beat Southampton and Norwich in the last two games, which has pretty much ended their playoff chances. Mm. And they go away to QPR here, Sophie, who've been pretty good under Sifuentes mm. but they've not got a win in their last few games which has left them as a sitting duck if they win one more game I think they're safe is this one is this one that one they'll win it's winnable mm. they're at home yeah but the thing is QPR have been a bit better away, away. this season no, no. let's go for it I'm going to go for QPR to cement their place in the championship for another season I think it could be a nervy low scoring one yeah one nil I was so tempted to say nil nil but I've gone for so many draws that do you know I'm going to back the away side they're going to bounce back from that Southampton game losing to now get the win I'm going to say 1-0 I do see this being a low scoring one but I just edge Preston 1-0 either way we're going on that one interesting share your thoughts guys do you think it'll be low scoring and which team do you see winning that or will it be a draw on to the next one so if, oh this is massive let's go to Ewood Park it's Blackburn Rovers Versus Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, Ooh, this is huge, this is Sophie. Big. Now, let's start with the home team, Sophie. Blackburn were the first team to win at Ellen Road in the league this season. Oh, wow. That's yeah, incredible. That is, yeah, that is a good start. It's brilliant. Well done, Blackburn Rovers. Fair play. It's almost put them safe. They're on 49 points. We're, we're not sure if it's going to be 49 or 50. It might be that 48 is enough as well. Mm. Um, it comes down to teams like Sheffield Wednesday that are in the bottom three. The Owls are one of the teams that need to set the pace down at the bottom. I've backed Sheffield Wednesday for almost all of this season and they're still in the bottom three, but they're still within touching distance. It seems as if they're teasing their fans, Sophie. Each week, they know that a win would bring them out of the bottom three, but a defeat would, would really crush their chances. And then they get a draw, and they're mm. like in limbo. Yeah. This is one where I think Sheffield Wednesday have got to turn a point into three. Mm -hmm. um, it's very important not to lose this. If they uh. draw it, they've still got a chance of staying up. But ideally, Sheffield Wednesday have to come and win. And I, th I think they're taking six or 7,000 to Blackburn, oh, wow. which is... It feels like a cup final, let's be honest, Sophie. Mm. It, their season might come down to this. If they lose this, it's very hard to see a way back. But they might still get out of it. I think from their last three games, they need to get at least two wins. I mm. think that'll do it because that'll take them to 50 points. Oh, Blackburn have been so impressive lately. I'm tempted to go for a draw as well because Sheffield Wednesday don't lose, but I'm going to do it, Sophie. I've got to stick with them right until the end. Blackburn 1, Sheffield Wednesday 2, and the oh. away end is going to go mental. Oh, my God. I'd love to be in the away end if they did that, but um, I'm opening myself up to a load of stick here. I'm actually going 2-1 the other way. Oh. I can't not back Blackburn. I know this seems so harsh going against Sheffield Wednesday, and this would feel like a dagger to the heart for the fans, like taking so many and to lose it. It is a must-not-lose, but... I don't know, it's just Smodix, isn't it? Mm. You've got Smodix in your team, you've got a chance, and I see them doing it. 2-1, and I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, let's be honest, Blackburn are going to be the favourites. They're the home team, they've yeah. pulled out some great results recently. But Sheffield Wednesday have been so competitive yeah. lately, and I think they might do it. It's definitely a must-not-lose, but... 
with the fact that Birmingham are probably going to beat Rotherham this weekend, Birmingham Wednesday well. probably need to get a win. Share your thoughts, guys. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the Riverside, Sophie. This will be tasty. Middlesbrough versus Leeds United. There's some big Ooh, games this week, yeah. and Middlesbrough fans would love to screw Leeds United over. There's not much love lost between the Middlesbrough fans and Leeds United fans. And um, I've backed Leeds to win the league all season. I back them every week to get a win. But recently, yeah. they keep dropping the ball... Thankfully, Ipswich and Leicester keep messing up as well, so Leeds are getting away with it, but for how long? Mm -hmm. Oh dear, this is a big opportunity for Leeds because Ipswich don't play this weekend. Um, oh, Leeds have got to get a win. Do you know what? I keep backing them and they keep letting me down, so maybe if I don't go for them to win... They might win. They might win. <laughs> so Leeds fans, I'm going to try something different. Uh, Middlesbrough have been really good this season, so... If, Two really good draws away at Hull and Ipswich recently, but they had to be pretty flawless and win every game to make the playoffs, so it might just be out of their reach. Middlesbrough have to win, Leeds have to win. I'm going for neither. 1-1. One, one. Oh, I was hoping to say 1-1, one, one, but do you know what? I'll pick a winner. And, yeah, every time I've been back in Leeds recently, they've not been sorting me out, so I'm going to go against you this week. Oh. Which the fans will probably be happy about, actually. Maybe. Um... 2-1, Middlesbrough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I can just see Middlesbrough really upsetting the Leeds fans. And I think it's going to be ferocious after the game. Oh, it'll be carnage. Yeah. Mm, I think Leeds are probably going to win now with back to them not to <laughs> They probably will. It'll be like 4-0 or something. Then. Let's move on to the next game. So if we've got Leicester City taking on Southampton. Wow. <laughs> There's so many big games this week. This is massive. Obviously, both teams will have played at the weekend, so it's hard to know what the state of play will be coming into this one. But... There's a good chance Southampton are going to come here still mathematically able to make the top two. Um, oh, jeez. I'm going to go for the home team. I'm, I can't believe I'm backing Leicester to win twice, twice this week. Yeah. Because they've not won either of their last two. They've lost them both. But I'll go with Leicester 1-0. I don't know why, but there you go. Yeah, while making this video, because they've both not played yet, you would say Southampton are in better form. So I'm really, really tempted to say a draw. But I'm going to back Southampton 2-1. Oh! Yeah. Put the Try cat on the pigeons, yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. Well, if they do win against Cardiff and then win this one, who knows? Who knows? Share your thoughts, guys, on Leicester versus Southampton. The final game. Oh, we're finally there. Let's get to this one, Sophie. The CBS as Coventry City will be back in league action against Hull City. Now, Coventry City won't have played in the championship for about... 11 days. The last time we played in the championship was against Birmingham City and if we play anything like that, Hull City will turn us over. Absolutely. Um, we'll be mauled by the Tigers. Mm, yeah. um, we've got Manchester United at the weekend, Sophie, and I don't know what bearing that game will have on this one. Mm. Ultimately, Coventry will have one day's less rest and if the Manchester United game does somehow go to extra time, our players will be shattered. Mm. To make the playoffs, both Coventry and Hull need to win this game. Let's kill both of their playoff chances and go for a 2-2 draw. So I was tempted to say that as well, <laughs> but I remember a couple of seasons ago, I was really confident playing Hull, and they beat us 2-0. Yeah. And I remember leaving, like, I was so confident about that. I was confident the other week playing Cardiff, but my confidence is shot now, so I'm not going to back us to win. Half tempted to back us to lose after that Birmingham game, but... Oh, I'm going to sit on the fence as well. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It doesn't do much for either team. No, I know. We both need to win that. Yeah. But we'll go for a draw. There you go, guys. That wraps up a very long Championship Predictions video. We'll be back on Thursday next week, guys, for Championship Predictions for the penultimate week of the season. I can't believe we're nearly there. Guys, make sure to drop a like. We're going for 2,000. Hit that thumbs up button. It's free to do. And make sure to subscribe. It's free to subscribe. So get involved. Thank you for joining me, Sophie. Thank you. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.